Okay, obviously uh, uh, proud of the coaches and players for just hanging in there, you know, all game long. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of things happened that uh, was, <coughs> was not advantageous for us to be able to win the football game, but uh, just, just hung on and needed all 42 points to be able to win this game. Every game's different. <coughs> That's why I think we got a good football team and we play well together. Um, you know, the guys uh, understand if we're struggling a little bit on one side of the ball, then the other ball needs to step up. And, you know, that's what happened today. So uh, really proud of the guys to finish this thing, get a win on the road. It's hard to do in the Big 12. <coughs> that's as good as I've ever seen that place. You know, they're doing a good job around here. Tom's doing a good job. Their guys are playing hard. The crowd was into it. You know, I've been here probably 10 times. and. It hadn't, it hadn't never looked like that. So these guys got it going in the right direction. It's a good, good, thing, good, good win for us. <laughs> okay, to start with the two-point conversion. Tough decision? You just go, go through your mindset at that point? No, nah, it was an easy decision. I mean, if you put the, the, <clears throat> you know, the fate of the game in number seven's hands, I feel good, pretty good about it. it was, we, we had that decision made uh, before we even took the field. I, I felt confident with our offense at that point. <laughs> you know, both defenses were having a hard time stopping the, the offenses. You know, I mean, it was, you know, I think both offenses were doing a good job. We took the field and, um, you know, and, and I had confidence and will to go out there and move us down the field, and we did. We executed a two minute drive uh, and scored a touchdown, and the decision was already made. So we've had this two point conversion in our, in our back pocket all year. and. Uh, it's got a lot of options, and you put you put number seven in a position to where he has uh, he has he has different options, and he's going to be tough to stop. He executed it twice, you know, and uh, you know I wasn't going to outsmart anybody. You know, we weren't going to call a different play based on <coughs> them seeing what we did. So, um, you know, was was happy that he was able to be able to finish it the right way. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I don't want to get too technical, but there's, there's about four options on that play. You know, they took, they took away uh, three of them when we threw it to David. They took away three of them when, when uh, they didn't take away David. So it's just, it's football and it's strategy and, and uh, worked out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's doing a good job. What he ended up with, uh, 121. I thought Kendi ran hard now. I mean, he was almost a 100-yard rusher as well. But, you know, we knew, we knew we had to run the ball. And I thought we did a great job throughout the course of the week of scheming some things up. And I thought the old line did a good job. Obviously, you lose your All-American tackle. It doesn't bode well for what, what could be. But it's, it's just one of the things that, that, that happened throughout the course of the <laughs> throughout the course of the game that we had to overcome. And uh, I think that's what good teams do is people step up. I thought Kelby Wickline went in there and did a good job for Yodney. Uh, but we, we schemed some things up. We blocked well up front. We ran the ball hard. And uh, that's why we moved the ball. <laughs> for <clears throat> the horn side thing? Yeah, I mean, I – Well, I don't – I mean, we got some hand signs too that we could throw up. And some of you in here know what I'm talking about. I mean, there's a hand sig there's a hand signal that looks like the state of West Virginia that we could be flashing left and right out there. I, I don't know. I, I here's what I'm disappointed about is we communicated with the refs if that thing was going to get called. Um, you know, I guess there was just miscommunication. Well, you did I, ask. Yeah, we did ask. Yeah, uh, but I guess there was some miscommunication. I don't know. That, that's you know that's been brought up in our coaches' meetings and stuff too. I think they should just take a hard fast stance on it and either I'll, may, I'll mandate we don't do it or we can do it. I don't know. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know where we stand on that. I know what was said and I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> oh, I just think we're an experienced, mature team, you know, that you know, is able to withstand the, the momentum swings throughout the course of a game. <clears throat> um, and, we, and we did, you know, there's a lot of times where they had momentum. I thought we gained some momentum towards the end and then they seized it right back and the crowd was into it. We had some, 
some offensive uh, false start issues because of the crowd where we haven't had that issue before prior to this game. So, uh, you know, just an <clears throat> experienced, mature team that's able to be able to, to hang in there and, and do what we need to do to be able to win. I got to do a better job. I got to do a better job. Jerry didn't have a ton of catches until the big one at the end. What, the throw and the catch, what, what were your thoughts? Well, he found enough energy. Him and Marcus didn't practice at all this week. <clears throat> you know, they were, they were out all week, didn't practice. I was concerned about it going in. That's why Dom and TJ started the game, because they practiced hard all week. And those guys have been doing a good job. <clears throat> uh, you know, but they were able to give us some snaps and some catches, but they they weren't quite where they normally are just based on a week of practice. They should be they should be 100 percent next week. So the throw by Will is that it was perfect. I mean, with everything on the line. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean it was an unbelievable throw. He 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 gave he gave David a chance the previous uh, series too. You know, and it was that was a beautiful throw. I mean, he's. He's as good as I've seen at throwing the football. I don't know what else you want me to say. I mean, he sits back there. He's banged up. He's, you know, he's old and <clears throat> all that. But uh, experienced and as accurate as I've as I've seen. Jim, he went down. I mean, you guys take a look. Was he, he said he was fine, or I what happened? He's fine. I mean, he's got old man parts this time of the year. I mean, <clears throat> you know, but he's he's he's. I mean, he's fine. He's not. I mean, he's he's a little banged up, but he's not injured. You know, so he just kind of tweaked his. His, uh, his ankle or his knee or something like that and rubbed a little dirt on it and went back in there and played ball. That's what he does. Was he obvious with the ACL? He's up with a punch? I guess, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't seen it. I mean, if you threw a punch, then they're going to throw you out. Bottom line. I mean, we know that. He knows that. You know, he told me it was retaliation. And I said, well, that's what you get. I mean, the second guy always gets caught. So I, I look at it. There's going to be video on it. I mean, he should have learned his lesson on Texas Tech. I mean, quite frankly, they should have thrown them out against Texas Tech when they were doing that whole squaring up box and match thing. I mean, it's just stupid. There's no room for that in football. How <clears throat> Will ran to that same corner against Texas last year who got hurt. But today he runs that same corner to lose the game. Just, can you talk how different? Now, why would you bring that up? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, completely different play, completely different situation. I mean, it was first quarter game on the line. I mean, Will, Will, Will Greer's going to do whatever he's got to do when the game's on the line to win the game. Uh, you know, he made the right decision. He made a play. <clears throat> we, had, we had the numbers to do it. So, you know, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't revisiting last year, but he made the right decision on this one. Oh, I would imagine it would give our team some confidence, yeah. I mean, they're, they're pretty fired up in there. We wanted to win this one pretty bad. Texas played really well. They played well. Uh, we wanted to win. That would give us some momentum moving forward. <clears throat> a lot of football left to be played. There's, there's still a lot of football left to be played. I mean, we'll enjoy this one, get home, you know, and go back to work for TCU tomorrow. I mean, got another hard one next week. A lot of football left to be played. Yeah.